How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It is week 4 of 2023 and as per usual we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about all related to Horizon 5 updates, news and stuff like that. So if you do enjoy these news videos make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Let's get straight into it. So if you've watched the previous few videos you'll know that we've sort of been predicting that the Forza monthly live stream, the next update live stream for Series 17 Japanese Automotive will be this Thursday on the 26th of January. Well finally it has been confirmed and we were correct. Over on Twitter Forza Horizon posted it's a Japanese automotive extravaganza. Join us for the latest Let's Go this Thursday and as we can see it says Thursday the 26th of January. Now the first obvious thing is the wallpaper that they have shown us has a Nissan 400Z or Nissan Z however you want to call it. That is pretty much confirmed now. We've known this car has been coming for a couple of months, um, but we've not known when. Now we can finally see that it is going to be part of the Japanese automotive update. The Nissan Z is finally coming. Not only that, on this very same day, we also have a Forza Monthly as well, which is going to talk all about the new Forza Motorsport. Tomorrow, which is the Wednesday, there is going to be an Xbox Games Showcase showcasing the new Forza Motorsport. It seems like on the Thursday, Forza or Turn 10 are going to do a Forza Monthly dedicated to the new game. So there might be a little bit more information in that stream as well. I can imagine it is directly before or after the Horizon 5 Let's Go stream. So there's going to be two streams on Thursday, one for Motorsport, one for Japanese Automotive as you can see on screen, all confirmed. Okay, what else to talk about? Well, we know that unfortunately, Ken Block passed away very recently in a very unexpected and random snowmobile accident. We can see that Forza Horizon have sort of given their condolences. They put out a tweet saying, the loss of Ken Block is felt deeply by the Forza team and we know the Forza community includes many of his fans. They want to put together a tribute video in his honor on behalf of the Forza and Forza community to share on the next Forza Monthly. If you'd like to share any Ken Block or Hoonigan related clips in game this is, feel free to share them. So if you guys have any Ken Block related Forza clips or Hoonigan car related clips, you know, montages, races, anything like that, put some clips together, put some videos together and go ahead onto Twitter or any social channels and use the hashtag ForzaKB and you may have a chance of being added to this tribute that they're going to do on Thursday in the Forza monthly stream. So you've got a couple of days to do it. I think you guys should go ahead and join that. Along with that, there's more Ken Block related stuff. If you check your message center in Forza Horizon 5, you will see that you'll have a message that says this. On January the 2nd, we lost a legend of motorsport. Today, we've sent everybody the 1965 Ford Hoonigan Mustang, the Ken Block race suit and helmet. So if you go onto the message center, you'll get those three things for free. But along with that, it also says in the March series update, we will honor Ken Block with some special in-game content. And it actually lists five things that are going to be, sorry, six things that are going to be coming in series 18 in March that are all Ken Block related. You can see what they are here. A player badge, I'm probably going to rock that. Some Ken Block accolades, uh, cars in the festival playlist, new Forza Link, just a few different you know, additions to the game that are all Ken Block tributes and related. So that will come in March, um, which is series 18, not this update, the next one. We don't know what that update is about just yet. We will in a few days, I would have thought. Um, but at the moment, we know there's going to be a few Ken Block things, but that's probably completely unrelated to the actual series theme. Now, I want to go back to something we spoke about earlier because it might tell us a bit more about the Japanese update. And that is this image right here. We know it's a Nissan 400Z, but if you actually look at it closely, where on earth is this photo taken? If you sort of zoom into the background, you can see it looks like some kind of car park, maybe even a multi-story car park, which does not exist on the Forza Horizon 5 map. Now, before you get your hopes up, it is not the second expansion. This is nothing to do with the second expansion. That's not what I'm hinting at before you get your hopes up. But some very clever people, more specifically over on GT Planet, um, this is one of the first people I saw mention it. He points out that the image was actually taken at the airfield of Horizon 5, the sort of the rundown airfield, more specifically this building here. If you compare the look of this building to what you can see in the little cracks there, it's very difficult to tell, but if you line it up, it actually works perfectly. 
that is the same building, which means that this photo with a Nissan 400Z and the car pack was taken at the airfield near this building. Now, that's not guaranteed, but it seems like that's the case. Lots of people are saying the same thing. They're doing the measurements and it all adds up correctly. I've not figured this out. I'm not taking the credit for it. I'm just showing you. But yeah, what does this mean? Now, this could mean a numerous amount of things. It could mean that the Japanese automotive update is getting a... Oh, what's it called? An evolving world makeover. Very similar to the stunt park and the World Cup thing. You know, an evolving world. Maybe they're going to add some car parks, some tarmac, some different roads over at the airfield temporarily to celebrate Japanese cars that might like to drift. You know, Tokyo Drift style. Um, maybe, maybe. Or it could be such as what this guy suggested event lab props these things we can see on screen could very well be event lab props and i'm on about entire multi-story car parks or single story car parks that you can drive in that is an actual prop for event lab that's a certain possibility there's lots of possibilities it could be evolving world new event lab props it's got to be one of the two. Showing you the crossword again. You may remember this crossword that Playground Games has been letting us complete over time and trying to figure out the next updates. That's why we know the Nissan Z was coming because we managed to figure out the Nissan Z. Um, many people have pointed out that over on the left hand side, this one here might say JDM. It would make sense as we are getting a Japanese automotive update with presumably JDM cars. So. I would say there's a good chance that this one means JDM. We've still got all of the other ones left open. I don't know what they are. Honestly, they could be any Japanese car, any feature. We'll have to wait and see what comes. But for the time being, maybe we've completed the JDM part of it now. That's certainly what lots of you guys think. We will know for sure what's coming in the Japanese automotive live stream in a couple of days on Thursday. But for the time being, we know the Nissan Z absolutely confirmed. Standard color seems to be yellow. Maybe event lab props, maybe an evolving world. And we also, as I said, have information about series 18 where we have Ken Block inspired. I nearly said loot then. I've been playing a lot of COD. A lot of Ken Block items and stuff like that. So that's very cool to see. As I said, we don't know what the theme is for series 18. I wouldn't suspect it's going to be all Ken Block related. It's probably just going to be a part of it. Last year in March, it was the Horizon Rush Takeover update. We got the Stunt Park. I'll be surprised if they do that again, but they have shown signs of repeating updates very slightly. But that's, so that's what we got last year. Um, it might be the same, it might be not. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's pretty much everything we had to talk about today, guys. Stay tuned for videos later this week all about the stream. Everything that's coming, as usual, you know the drill. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. See you in a bit.